Hello friends, welcome back again to our channel Striving Aspirants. Today our topic is Time Value of Money. We have two terms here, one is time and another one is value of money. Time determines the value of money. When the time passes, there will be changes happening in the value of money. Let us consider two situations to understand this concept better. The first case, if we are getting an offer to select or to accept 5000 cash amount today or 5000 cash amount at a future date, what will be the usual preference? With no doubt we can say the usual preference will be to accept that 5000 cash amount now instead of taking at a future date. Consider another situation to pay 5000 cash amount now or at a future date. In this case the preference will be to pay the amount at a future date instead of paying at a present date or paying now. What is the real point or idea behind these two cases? Take the first case. By accepting 5000 cash amount early or in the present situation, we can simply put this amount in the bank and we can earn some interest. And in the case of second option, by delaying the payment, we have the chance to earn interest by keeping that particular amount in our bank account. What is the real point behind both cases? We are talking about time and also the value of money. Here there is a time gap to accept or to reject whatever amounts. Here the time gap allowed or helped us to make some money. So this type of incremental gain is called as time value of money. In the two cases above we have seen there is an interest when we put that amount in the bank. Consider the case if the bank interest was zero then without no doubt we can say the time value of money will be zero. So when we take the two cases we have looked into the term interest. So time value of money result from the concept of interest. So it plays an important role in the determination of time value of money. In general we can say interest rate it act like a cost for the borrowed amount as a yearly percentage and in the case of investors it is the rate they have earned on an investment they have made as a yearly percentage. Since the interest is playing a vital role in the determination of time value of money, we have to look into the most important interest types. First one is simple interest. Interest calculated as a simple percentage of the original principal amount. The original principal amount means we have seen in the previous slide some amount we are depositing like 5000 amount or 10,000 whatever the amount. That amount is called as principal amount upon which we are earning the interest. Here we are earning the interest on that original principal amount. Formula for calculating simple interest is SI equal to PO multiplied by 
i multiply by n here si means simple interest po means original principal amount i interest rate per time period in decibels n number of time periods when we talk about simple interest we have to add one more term to this one that is future value if we add principal to the interest amount we will get total future value f v also known as terminal value for any simple interest rate the future value of an account at the end of n period is fv n equal to po plus si and simple interest we have already know equal to po plus po into i into n now let us see one example to understand this simple interest if you invest 10000 that is principal amount in a bank at simple interest of 7 percentage per annum what will be the amount at the end of 3 years future value fvn equal to po plus si So the amount will be ten thousand plus ten thousand multiplied by seven percentage into three. So the answer is twelve thousand one hundred. So that will be the amount we are getting after three years. Now we will see the compound interest. In the case of simple interest, we have calculated. interest on original principal amount but here the interest will be calculated on total of previous earned interest and the original principal one point we have to note here is that the amount calculated on the basis of compound interest rate that will be higher than when it is calculated with the simple interest rate Now we will check an example to understand this compound interest. Two thousand principal amount is deposited in a bank for two years at a simple interest of six percentage. How much will be the balance at the end of two years? First, we are calculating the simple interest. Future value equal to P O plus P O. Multiplied by i into n, that is 2000 plus 2000 multiplied by 6 percentage into two years equal to 2000 plus 240, and the future value will be 2240. Now we will come to calculate compound interest. The first year balance will be like this one. F V one equal to P one plus P one multiplied by I into N. The principal amount is two thousand plus two thousand into six percentage into one because this is the first year. So we will get the amount as two thousand plus one twenty. So the value is two thousand one hundred twenty. Now. Coming to the second year, we will take 2,120 that we got in the first year. So we can see the amount given here. F V2 equal to P2 plus P2 multiplied by I into N equal to 2120 plus 2120 multiplied by six percentage into one. Equal to two thousand plus one twenty eight. Equal to two thousand two hundred forty eight. So that's all about the time value of money. We will be continuing with the 
time value of money in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel to get more videos in the future. Take care. Bye bye.